Welcome back to Price and Adventures TV. Today we're going to be installing an engine guard on the Harley Iron 1200. Should be a pretty simple install. It's going to go here on these two bolts and here under the horn bolts. Four bolts in the pack and some washers and not lock washers, but they are washers. And it should be a pretty straightforward install, so let's get to it. All right, in order to get these two bolts, the horn is actually in the way. So I'm going to remove the horn, and then I should be able to access the two bolts. Because it's on pretty tight. So I'm not sure if this is unique to this model of bike, um, but the, the bolts that came with it are shorter than the OEM bolts. So I'm just gonna use the OEM bolts and put it right back together. So I'm gonna sandwich the engine guard next to the engine mount and put the horn back as the bottom bracket. This is the tricky part. So if you had a second person, it would probably help. But I'm gonna get like a piece of wood or something to sit this on. Okay, so I just happen to have two bolts that fit the OEM bracket. Uh, this is why I advocate holding on the ram random odds and end bolts. Couldn't tell you the size, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there. I'll probably ride to the hardware store at some point and swap them out for an easier replacement bolt. Okay, so the problem with this kit is the bolts do not fit this model of bike. I used the OEM bolts that came with the bike for the top bracket. The bottom bracket, the bolts that came with it do not fit. I had to go to my junk pile to find two that I thought were the same size. I only had one. So I go to the hardware store and get a matching bolt tomorrow probably and finish that up. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up and just uh, test fit it to see how it fits. My uh, leg reach and I'll see if I wanna install the highway pegs onto the sides of them here. Uh, or we'll see how that goes. All right, so it's in and it's tight enough for me to just get a test fit. So I'll This is a normal riding position here, and then the bars will, will ride like that. It's not terrible, uh, it's a little high. It will be comfortable, but I think I'm gonna install the highway pegs uh, to be somewhere around here. It'll be like that, a little bit lower. But it'll give me two options for uh, ride height. Something that I see already is this model of highway peg, these rubber rubber foot uh, places for your foot. Uh, it's pretty much a joke. Yeah, this one's already broken. So this is probably going to get removed and I'll just sit my feet on top of the bar. So here are the highway pegs, uh, that brand for engine guards. Um, got a lot of different configurations that can go in. So I figured out something that's comfortable. All right, so I found a good position for the highway peg. Um, there's an Allen wrench here and a 
I think this is a half inch. I'm sorry, 19 metric wrench fits that. And it's a pretty sturdy position. Uh, we got Preston here for his Preston Adventures TV. Um, but that's a good, a good uh, length for my foot. Preston's leg is a little bit too short for it. All right, so it comes in one piece like this. Just take your wrench, loosen that up. You do have to take it all the way off to get the clamp to open. And just put it back on in the same order that it came off. Uh, and just mirror what you did on that side. Once you get on the bike and if you need to adjust it any, it's got good adjustment range. And then from here, you just tighten it down. And these footrests need to be able to collapse when, if you have a wreck. So that's obviously the wrong side. So let's spin this around to here. So now if I drop the bike on this side, it'll slide along the concrete like that. And then just tighten this down. So the fit is pretty good. Uh, inexpensive system from Amazon. Um, only downside is the bolt that they sent with the engine guard, two separate companies. The engine guard uh, bottom bolts don't match up, but it'll be an easy fix. I go to the hardware store, get a couple of them tomorrow, and be ready to ride. All right, and as Preston says, uh, well, he's here. He can get on here and say his ending. Yeah, I'm going to show you all around the, uh, right here. That's going to be the end of the video for today. Hope you all enjoyed and see you on the